the biggest storylines from the Premier League final weekend. Now, look, we're gonna em we're gonna um, emphasize the Premier League here and talk more than about the Premier League, but I will touch on some of the other leagues that are going around the world and some big things going on there. But you know, the biggest one of all is what's going on with the you know the information surrounding the uh, the Premier League. Manchester City, first place. They can clinch their Premier League title by defeating West Ham on Sunday. Um, Arsenal have an, also have an opportunity to win the league. They must win at home against Everton. And Man City either needs to lose or draw for uh, Arsenal to win the title. Now, if Arsenal win and Man City draw, Arsenal would also win the title on goal differential since they have a plus one goal differential over them right now flat. So if both of them finish with a draw. Um, if, Man, if, if Arsenal wins and Man City draws, you know, Arsenal would win. But Arsenal with anything less than either a win, so a draw or a loss, both will not be enough for them. So they must win against Everton and hope for a little bit of help. You know, and it really comes down to that Aston Villa game um, a few weeks ago. Um, but these are all the rest of the teams. Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Aston Villa. They're all confirmed into the Champions League. They'll all be participants in next year's Champions League. Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, you know, expected. Aston Villa, remarkable achievement for them. Remarkable achievement for Unai Emery, which I don't put past him to take this Aston Villa team into the Champions League and to make some not a run, but to to show to show a good um, you know to make a good account for themselves. Um, Unai Emery, he's a brilliant manager. He is a brilliant manager. His accomplishments at Sevilla, Sevilla, his accomplishments at Villarreal, you cannot underestimate the impact that he has made on the clubs that he has been at Arsenal. He, you know, he wasn't really able to take them to where they wanted to reach, but he's had his good moments at Arsenal. He had his good, and, it's a, and it was kind of like a, not a, not a bad club at a bad timing, but, you know, it was, it could have been in a better situation for Unai Emery. You know, he had a lot of players that couldn't play the way he wanted to play, and he stick to it, and it led to some mistakes early. And then the results started getting bad, confidence started getting bad, and it kind of fell apart in the Europa League final. And the next, the start of that next season just didn't let out to be successful. Um, I think his campaign at Arsenal could have been a lot better if he won that Europa League, knowing that they would have Champions League football the next year. Maybe that brings in more money for them to spend. Also, he was never properly backed at Arsenal. And uh, yeah, that wasn't the best, of, you know, times for him but now what he's done at Aston Villa brilliant 68 points in 37 games he has a very good opportunity to have a 70 point season with Aston Villa that's a phenomenal phenomenal accomplishment now as far as Europa League and the Premier League only as of right now only fifth place gets Europa League with the other spot first going to the FA Cup winners that's first but if Manchester United loses to Manchester City in the FA Cup final, um, sixth place in the Europa League, sixth place in the Premier League will go to Europa League. Um, but if Man United were to win, since they're not in the top six, Man United will take that sixth place spot, enter straight into the Europa League, and uh, sixth place will go to the Conference League. Um, and as far as the Europa League, Tottenham, they're clinched, they're in the Europa League. They, or they're not clinched actually because they're only three points behind Chelsea with the game in hand. But they play a Sheffield United team, which they only need a point. A point is enough for them to be 100% guaranteed Europa League. Chelsea, they're in a position where they could jump Tottenham. If Tottenham loses and they win, obviously that's very unlikely. They can get that automatically Europa League spot. But they're sitting pretty in sixth place, three points ahead of Newcastle United with a point. If they, could, if they can manage just a draw, that would be enough for them to... Um, secure that sixth place spot, which more than likely than not, as long as City take care of United in the FA Cup final, that will take them into the Europa League, which is very important for them because they need to they need a backup 
to reach the Champions League the following year next year if they're not able to reach top four. I think it will be a very important achievement um, for Chelsea if they're able to secure Europa League football, especially from the start that they had this season. Um, now, Conference League goes to one spot. spot um, and it'll probably be pending the FA Cup final. It'll be either the sixth or seventh place that will go into a conference league, which is a battle between um, Newcastle and United uh, and Chelsea, but uh, and Chelsea also um, really just really depends on whether or not that FA Cup final goes because it's all a knockup final effect. And Manchester United wins sixth place conference league. Manchester United loses seventh place conference league. Uh, as far as relegation goes, um, Burnley and Sheffield United, they are relegated. Uh, they're officially relegated. There's one more team that's still needed to go with them. It's between Nottingham Forest and Luton Town. Now, look, technically Luton Town are still in contention, but effectively they are indeed relegated because their goal differential is crazy. Luton would have to beat Fulham and Forrest will have to lose to Burnley with a and, and between those two games there's gonna need a goal differential swing of 12 goals. That's not gonna happen. So no, let's just Nottingham Forest is safe and Luton Town are not mathematically relegated on a technicality but they are relegated and they'll be joining Burnley and Sheffield United. Le Leicester City and Ipswich Town has actually been automatically promoted to the Premier League. Le Leicester City and Ipswich, uh, Ipswich Town. And um, Leeds United, Southampton, West Bromwich Albion um, will, complete in the play will compete in the playoffs for, um, for the other spot. Now, if you want to go into the other leagues, just go into touch them. Real Madrid, they have clinched La Liga. The four teams that are going to the Champions League next year in La Liga have also been confirmed. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Girona, Atletico Madrid. They've all been confirmed. Europa League, there's still three teams in contention with Athletic Club, Real Sociedad, Real Betis. But it really depends also... Um, Atletico, Athletic, they won the Copa del Rey, so they will be in the Europa League regardless of finishing position. But with that said, they're almost certain to finish in the top six. So, you you know, it's safe to say that they're, uh, the place for the cup moves over to the league, which is the fifth and sixth, which is sixth place that enter the Europa League. Um, and the Conference League will be going to seventh there most likely. So it's either Real Sociedad or Betis. Uh, and um, to get in there, Villarreal, they're still mathematically in there with 51 points, but it'll take a miracle. Uh, Granada and Almeria, they've been, uh, they've been relegated. It, there's, a, there's a five teams that are um, still in, um, in contention for that last relegation spot. Cadiz, unlucky, despite their back-to-back -back wins, they're still adrift. Uh, because of victory from um, the teams that they're rivaling. They hosted Las Palmas on Sunday. They, they'll need to keep the battle alive. They'll be relegated with a defeat or a draw if Mallorca pick up points. Um, other games see Celta Vigo travel to already relegated Granada and Rayo Vallesano go to Barcelona. Another thing with the Bundesliga, Bayern Leverkusen, they have won game to go to remain invincible within the Bundesliga which will be a remarkable achievement and they have already secured their first championship in their history now if they can go on and win invincible in their first championship in their history I mean that's this is a this is a buy this is a story that you're gonna go on and talk about for a very very long time I mean the way we talk about the Arsenal invincibles this is a team that did it in a lesser league, but did it in more of a supreme fashion. When you look at all competitions, when you look at their German Cup and a Europa League away from winning a treble, a treble, a Europa League treble, but also an invincible season. Wow, that'll be phenomenal. Wow, you can, it's a storytelling thing. 
Um, the Bundesliga has sealed an extra place through European performance, which sends the fifth team into the Champions League. Um, they're confirmed. Leverkusen will be in the Champions League next year. Bayern Munich will be in the Champions League next year. Stuttgart, Leipzig, Borussia Dortmund, they'll all be in the Champions League. And depending on whether or not Borussia Dortmund can win the U UCL final, which automatically gives them a spot in the UCL next year, the fifth place, the sixth place team will move on to the Champions League, which is n uh, uh, close between Eintracht Frankfurt and Hoffenheim. Um, who Eintracht Frankfurt, they're three points ahead of Hoffenheim uh, with the last games to go. And, um, you know, if they can, you know, this, you know, there's not a huge goal differential swing, so it could go either way. But, um, yeah, that's, you know, that's still going on. Uh, real quick with Serie A, Inter has wrapped up the Scudetto and five Champions League, four Champions League spots have been secured. Uh, in, Inter Milan, AC Milan, Bologna, Juventus, and then Atlanta, Roma, and Lazio. They're fight, They're battling for that final spot, and it really depends on the Atlanta situation with them in the Europa League final.